Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. This video, we're gonna be talking a little bit more about arrays, just to go through some examples. We're gonna go through a couple of examples in this video, and then a couple more in the next video of just what we can do with arrays. Specifically, we wanna talk about looping through these arrays with for loops, and just some different algorithms we can do. So we're gonna search for stuff in an array. We're gonna take the average of an array. We're going to get an array elements from user input. Lots of cool stuff. So first though, I encourage you to check out our sponsor, Dev Mountain. So Dev Mountain is a coding bootcamp and they're very career centric. So when you go to Dev Mountain, their goal is to give you what you need to get a job and survive in the industry. It's very rigorous, but definitely worth it. Lots of people have positive reviews of this bootcamp. So I encourage you to check them out. They have stuff in person and online. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off. So. Do yourself a favor and invest in your career. Mm, sorry, I just had to get a drink. Say hi. <laughs> the first thing I wanna talk about is just iterating through the grades array. Now we have talked about this a little bit in this series, so this might be a little bit of a repetitive thing. If it is, that's fine, just get some more practice here. <laughs> so let's go over the syntax for the for loop again. It's gonna have three pieces. We're gonna have an initialization. So we'll say let i equal zero. And this is going to, the second piece is the condition. So i is less than grades dot length. So this is going to go through all of the elements in the array. And then we just increment i each iteration. Then we can just console log each element by doing grades of i. Awesome. So when we do a refresh, we get all of these pieces. Now the thing is, this will also print undefined. So if we do something like grades.length equals 30, or if we do like length or grades of some index that doesn't yet exist and set that equal to a value, that will also put undefined inside of this array. So you can see here we have 24 undefined. So if you wanna skip those inside of your array, the easiest way to do that is to just put a conditional in here. So basically we're just gonna check to see if it's a legit value. The way you do that is by seeing if it's not undefined. So if grades of i is not equal to undefined, then it's, it's legit. And what do we wanna do when it's legit? Well, we're just going to console log it. So paste that right there. Do a refresh and you can see those undefined go away. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you guys is how to skip the undefined. Next thing I wanna show you guys is how to search an array. We did something similar to this with strings earlier, but now I wanna show you guys with arrays. This might also be some review. So we're gonna have two variables. First, we're gonna have a flag, which is just found. So this is gonna be false by default, and we're going to basically search. And if it is found, then we're gonna set this to true. We're also gonna have a variable um, search, which is just going to be what we're searching for. So like, let's say we're searching for 43. And this is a number, so we don't wanna quote that. Sorry about that. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're basically just going to iterate through every single thing. And if grades of i is equal to, so replace that not equal to with equal to, to search, then that means it's found. So in this case, we found the item. And we can just console log the value there. So when we do a refresh, you can see we get the value 43. If you wanna get the index, you could just say, something like at index and then put i. So do a refresh, 43 at index nine, which should be right. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yes, that is correct. Now this will go and count any 43s we find. So no matter however many there are, it's going to print each one. If this is not what you want, this is where the break keyword comes in. And we talked about this when we talked about break and continue. So if you put break, it's going to stop after the first one and just do that first one there. So that is how you search within an array. Now you could also put found equals true in here, which is why I have this flag up here. So found equals true. In this case, that can be a flag that you can later use. So after the for loop, you could do something like if found do something. So that's if you need to reference whether it was found or not later, you can do that that way. So that's basically how you do searching in an array. That's pretty fun. <laughs> Next thing I wanted to do was talk about finding the biggest element in an array. 
You could also modify it to find the smallest or something like that. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to look for the largest number. So let's say 66 in this case. The way we do this is first let's get rid of these variables. We're gonna create a new variable and call it largest. And this is going to keep track of the largest number. And at the beginning, we're, ba we're basically just going to start at the beginning and just scan through this for any large numbers. So we're just gonna assume the first number is the largest. So we'll just say grades of zero. And then we're going to basically check to see if any ones are bigger, and if they are, replace largest with that new number. So we're going to continue, and we're gonna continue looping through the entire array, but instead of this equals equals here, what we're going to do is say, if grades of i is greater than largest, what we need to do is we need to replace largest. How are we gonna do that? We're just gonna say largest and assign it the value grades of i, like so. Awesome, then down here, we could actually console log the largest. Do a refresh, and you can see we get the value 66. So that is how you would do that. You could do the same thing with the smallest by starting at the beginning, changing up the comparisons, and so forth. Now, I have a challenge for you guys. So if you guys want a little bit of a challenge, I want you to rewrite this code, but instead of keeping track of the largest number, I want you guys to keep track of the index of the largest number. So instead of getting 66, you would get 0, 1, 2, 3. So rewrite this code so that you get 3. And then just change it up to make sure it works and that you got all your code correct. This stuff's pretty important. It seems just kind of like challenges for no purpose, but later on you're going to build complex code that you can basically extract into functions and build a function library of useful stuff for your program. So definitely something you want to understand, especially if you want to get more into algorithms and data structures, this stuff is very important. The next video, we're going to do some more of the same stuff, but we're going to actually do a challenge to find the mean of this entire list. And we're also going to talk about how to fill an array using user input. So very cool. Hopefully you guys are excited. If you've enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing as that really helps out my channel and I would be forever grateful. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.